Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. On a normal track day on a paved asphalt race track under sunny skies and with sticky rubber, you are, remarkably, more cautious than you are on bald face, gripless, trackless, death ice. That's what I learned after a day of ice racing in a Kia Stinger. Yes, the Stinger. While my Autoleak colleagues back in Detroit already drove them months ago, I didn't get to drive a Stinger until last week, albeit only in the above-mentioned icy circumstances. In case you haven't noticed, the Stinger has been getting more fawning press lately than Stormy Daniels on career day. So far, everybody seems to love it. Don't they know that it's just a state Genesis G70 under the skin? How come everyone isn't going nuts over the soon-to-come G70? In fact, the G70 promises to be even more sporty since it's 3 inches shorter in the wheelbase and 6 inches shorter overall. I am assuming, without having driven a G70, that it would be more fun than a Kia Stinger. As the Stinger's praise justified. Might be. Like I said, I never got off the ice, but I sure had fun on it. There I was, staring down the business end of a mighty and powerful Kia Stinger GT2 a 365 horsepower twin turbo v6 under the hood 8 speed automatic with paddle shifters powering all four wheels in varying degrees of torque distribution thanks to dynamic torque vectoring awd according to kia's press materials up to 50 percent of torque can go to the front wheels and up to 80 percent to the rears ahead of me was a splendidly designed ice race course about a mile long and what seemed like half a mile wide okay Maybe it was 80 feet wide, maybe 100. But it was really, really safe. To screw up here you'd really have to be an idiot. I screwed up almost immediately. Really? In the turnaround area? That was the voice of our driving instructor when I power slid off the course after performing a beautiful, perfect, power on arc which I should have eased off of about one foot shorter than I did. The Michelin Latitude X ice winter tires were good. But even they had their limits, it turned out. My new best friend Laszlo, who was one of the instructors, pulled me out with a Chevy 4x4 when I got stuck the first time. The idea was to drive the course in two of the car's five modes, Comfort and Sport. The other modes, Custom, Eco, and Smart, no one knew what they were and I had no time to figure out during my short time on the ice. So we did the obligatory Comfort mode just to verify the dash surprise. It's no fun on a race track, then spent the rest of the time in sport mode, both with and without traction control on. I switched it off whenever I could get away with it. This is Autoleak, after all, not safe suburban commuter blogger.com. So how'd it feel out there on the unforgiving, tractionless ice? It was fun, but frankly I'd have preferred a pure rear wheel drive setup. The fronts pull you through the corners, said our instructor friends. Well, yeah, but I was also under staring like a PIG. Plus, I had a distinct lack of talent. A real ice driver would take advantage of AWD and smoothly power through this course. I'd fling the stinger through four or five of the five or six turns of the course perfectly, a regular Ari Vatanen, a Timos Alonen, a Mark Huelen. Only to get overextended in the final turn. Twice more, twice. This resulted in my being towed out of the snow by Laszlo and his Chevy truck. That red car seems to have a snowbank magnet in it, someone said over the radio. Hey man, it was just because I was trying harder than anyone else. In fact, on the slalom portion of the day, which was timed, I got third best out of maybe ten drivers, half of whom usually ride taxis in Manhattan. So keep that in mind when you hear me recommending RWD. Do you want a WD in your Stinger? They come with the choice of rear or all-wheel drive. I'd take the rear driver. I was a little surprised they didn't offer RWD out here on the ice. That would have been more fun, I think. Sure, it might have resulted in every single car hitting every single snowbank, but so what? It'd be fun. I'm scheduled to get another Stinger to drive on regular paved streets here in Southern California in a few weeks. I look forward to trying that one out in the non-ice of SoCal.
Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.